Hi, I'm Jess and I go to Denport High. I'm here at Salon Spoil to talk to Catherine. Let's go have a chat. So Catherine, what's your role here at Salon Spoil? Um, well, I'm owner manager. Um, the role basically includes the business side, which is paperwork, ordering, um, doing stock, all of that, making sure that we have enough um, product on the shelves, um, making sure everything's running smoothly with hours and things like that. But um, when we're in on the floor and working, we are all level because we're all senior hairstylists. So can you tell me what a typical day looks like here? Um, well, we have a mixture of um, colours, we have cuts. Um, a general day is that we all arrive and then we continue on with our clients. So it's whether it's a shampoo, cut and blow dry, whether it's cut colour and uh, foils, or whether it's just men's trims, children's trims. We do perm setting. Um, we try to make a range of beauty. So we have makeups, we offer hair ups, weddings, and then we have all our products as well. So we do a lot of sales in um, products, hair products, as well as electrical. So. So can you tell me what your favourite part of being a stylist is? Mine by far is cut and colour. I love to create from start to finish. I love doing before and after photos where you're literally, you're creating someone's, what they want, but to see where they've come from and then where they're going to end up and that process of getting them there, that is, yeah, that's my, what I love to do. So what are some of the opportunities as a stylist people might not realise? Um, there's lots. Once you do your training and you've done your four year apprenticeship, um, you can have, I guess, the opportunity to go on and continue in that salon and, and work under somebody else or you can go out on your own and work on your own and, and open your own business. Um, the hairdressing industry is a great industry when you want to start a family, the flexibility of being able to work the hours that suit you around either partners or children, um, that's a great great part of being a hairdresser is that you can work around all of those things. You can do late nights, you can do weekends. Um, there's also the side where you can go beyond being in a salon and working behind the scenes, say at the movies or in the show business and or modelling or, you know, all the hair and makeup that happens behind the scenes in, in a production. Um, all of that's available. What got you interested in being a stylist in the first place? That actually, I guess it was being a little girl. I was like four or five and playing with Barbie dolls and um, yeah, just being a typical girl. Um, so I guess my dream was always to be a hairdresser. And then coming out of school, I realized like it was seriously something I wanted to do, like to, to help people out and be creative. I always was creative and I always wanted to use my hands. I talk all the time. So it was kind of like a job that I could do what I wanted to do, that I was happy doing and I was getting paid for it. So Catherine, can you tell me um, what sort of person is suited for a job like this? Um, someone that's hardworking, um, someone that can adapt, um, talk to people, be open and friendly. Um, you've got to probably have patience and um, you've obviously got to have the hands-on, the want to be creative and um, it's an exciting job. Um, can you tell me some of the pathways for someone that wants to be a stylist, what they should do? Well, I guess first, firstly is to get into a salon and see if they like it. It's not for everybody so if you can get your foot in the door and, and volunteer um, in a salon or get a bit of work experience in a salon, even going in tea and tidy, um, just getting in to make sure that it's an area that you want to get into. Um, and then once you're, you're in a salon, um, you can either then get a, an apprenticeship, um, certainly doing like volunteer hours is a good way to learn and, and see the real happenings in a salon. Otherwise, there are always the opportunity to go to TAFE and do a pre voc course, which then can lead you into an apprenticeship. Thank you, Catherine, for um, talking to me and helping out with this interview. Um, I hope it shows people some more opportunities and pathways for them if they choose to go in this career.